Well, this is the, uh, the large-scale scientific effort by the biology community to get the uh, precise linear sequence of all of the bases in human DNA. Uh, to, in other words, break the code of the human information that's in DNA and learn where all the genes are in that, in that very massive molecule of information. Well, one, one hope is that um, medically, by learning what all the, de the genes are, you can then, if something goes wrong in a particular case, you have a tool for learning how it could be corrected. You know, so we can do what people call uh, personalized medicine. We can tailor the medicines for a specific genome uh, in an individual. That'd be one answer. Uh, another useful uh, area is to do what's called comparative genomics, where we look at all the genomes of different organisms and see how they compare so we can, we can learn something about their relatedness in evolutionary terms, you know, how, how are the different organisms related to each other at the level of the DNA. Part of the problem when the Genome Project was started was a philosophical one. That is, can you learn everything there is to know about what it means to be human by just sequencing the DNA. Uh, and that was the thought of some people who were doing this. So this presents a challenge. Is that really all we are, is just our DNA? Um, what would that mean if that's all I am? Where's my soul? Where are the spiritual aspects of me? Well, as it turns out in the project, when it was done, uh, we have, instead of hundreds of thousands of genes, we actually only have about 20,000. And that's not any different than other organisms, like the fly or the worm. So the end result of it is actually good news for philosophy and theology, because it says we are much more than our DNA. And biologists are being forced to look at that now. So it opens up a conversation with theology and with philosophy uh, to say the Genome Project actually pushes biology in that direction. I think uh, part of that is, in fact, the issue of thinking that the biologists only want to know what it is to be human just looking at DNA. That, that seems to be a threat because uh, for, for especially Christian believers, you know, we think we also have a divine image. We are imago Dei. You know, we, we are somehow in the image of God, and God is a, is a greater uh, being than just DNA. Uh, so this seemed to be demoting us uh, in a way that was spiritually uh, degrading. Uh, but as I said, because the result is that the sequence shows we're not just that, we're much more than that, it opens up that discussion. And so I don't think it should now be a threat to people, uh, to especially believing people. The Genome Project has finished, and now we're working through what to do with all the data. But as far as our spiritual nature is concerned, as, as Pope John Paul II said, the evolutionary model is fine so far as our our, our body is concerned. Same thing for the Genome Project, but, but our soul, that's a different matter.